What is up guys? It's Papa Games here. Before I even go any further, if you guys would please hit that like button down there. Let's get this video spread around and I get uh, this question a lot on how to uh, display the stats in games so I wanted to show you guys how to get this set up. So uh, this is MSI Afterburner and it also comes with uh, Reva Tuner Statistics Server. Um, as it says it's powered by Giro3D.com so of course that's one place that you can get it and uh, if you want to you can google MSI Afterburner and uh, just click on the top link here I'll also put some uh, links for this down in the description so while you guys are down there clicking that like button you can go ahead and browse on down a little more and click that link button so here it'll tell you all about the in-game frames per second counter. You can also overclock with Afterburner, which not really going to get into that on this video. But um, you can go right here. Uh, let me see. Where's the download link? It's kind of hard to find on the site. So, okay, right here you go to. So from the top of the site, you just scroll down just a little bit and go to downloads there. And you're going to want this top one, uh, download MSI Afterburner. Uh, this will be for Windows version. Uh, and as far as the Android app, yes, you can overclock your Androids. <laughs> and uh, the remote server, you can actually control your overclock from your phone. Uh, there's a whole lot of setup involved in that. And again, I'm not getting into that on this video. So okay you get your download done and set up and when you open it up you're gonna see MSI Afterburner here all of this stuff looks crazy and it pertains to overclocking so you just ignore that and what you want to do is look for the gear icon and when you get to the gear icon this is gonna open up here and you want to go over to monitoring and what you do here is uh, if you want to see your frames per seconds in the game then you just uh, see how this one's not highlighted now so you would have to highlight that for your frame rate and then you also need to uh, click the show in on-screen display down here and that will show it in your game so if all you're wanting to see is your frames per second then uh, all you do is come into like I said uh, back from the beginning just go to the gear icon go to monitoring click the frame rate show in the on-screen display and then over here on on-screen display tab uh, you need to make you some kind of a key that uh, you or a combination of keys on your keyboard that you press to bring up the on-screen display so in my case uh, I believe it's default actually I think it's defaulted to nothing so you do have to pick something um, be careful what you pick because I know uh, if, if a lot of you guys are using uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play or NVIDIA Share or whatever you want to call it nowadays um, the alt and like F1 through F12 buttons are a lot of shortcuts on uh, the NVIDIA Share so uh, in my case what I did was control alt F12 um, that's my combination to get the on-screen display to pull up and if you hit it again it'll also take it away so if you're just wanting to see your stats for a little while and then turn them off and continue playing the game you can do that or you know in my case if you're uh, benchmarking games and doing recordings you can turn it off to like you know get it out of the way while you're uh, you know showing the settings for the game and then turn it back on when the you know actual gameplay starts so that it's not in the way um, and blocking you know the view for people so um, Okay, so uh, you got that set up. That's for your frame rate. Uh, you can also show your uh, core clock. This is my setup that you guys see on all the benchmarks that are on Papa Games. Um, I show the frame rate and the frame time. Um, and then I go to the core clock. And you'll notice, like mine says a GTX 1080. That's because I overrode uh, the group name. So it's displayed, you know, ticked here shows an on-screen display but if I don't 
override the group name it just shows as like generic GPU or something like that so you can just uh, put in your uh, you know whatever your card is you don't have a whole lot of letters to work with here let me see uh, yeah that's it so uh, you got one two three four five six seven eight spaces that you can pick um, and choose you know uh, what you want to write in there for the group name and uh, so like here I named it mem um, and the order that you have these in is how they show on your stats on the screen also so uh, keep that in mind so like in this case I wanted to show the 1080s core clock and then right underneath it I wanted to show the mem clock so I, I put that as mem so when you see in my benchmarks you see uh, you know the core clock and then the mem right underneath it and then uh, the temperature also and I just named that GPU temp and uh, here's the usage which I named GPU USG and uh, all these other ones are ticked and what these do is they show oh sorry I have to get out of here what they do is show all down here all of your stats that you can go and look through and it keeps a graph and uh, you can actually do kind of like a benchmark because you can record these stats and uh, you know go look back through them later uh, that'd be more for like analysis if you were having some sort of you know trouble with your GPU or something and was wanting to see what's going on with the power usage and things like that watts and stuff so uh, anyways back over here um, this also does have screen capture in it uh, you can take screenshots and you can also take videos too here's a video capture same thing you know you'll have a shortcut and uh, you can pick all your kind of options here uh, for what you want to do to record um, nowadays I mean with uh, shadow play or relive it's just kind of unnecessary to have it in this program also because those take really nice screenshots and of course uh, Nvidia has the uh, Ansel app which is like the best screenshot capturing program out there so uh, so anyways uh, the ones that are checked and do not say an on-screen display uh, those will not show in your on-screen display they will just be in the stats down there so anyways uh, moving back on this is the Ryzen 1700X so we are looking at 16 CPUs so um, or 16 cores so what we do is uh, check all of them show an on-screen display and that will show all 16 core usages and then uh, this I have the RAM and I put mine as RAM 3000 because I'm, I want people to know that it's running at 3000 megahertz on the benchmarks you also have page file usage uh, you can uh, monitor your GPU voltage now if you do want to uh, monitor your voltage you'll need to go over to uh, let's see here in the monitoring and I believe right down let me see what am I doing wrong here oh okay here we go over in that you have to hit these little arrows if you want to go over to some of the other stuff I don't and it won't let you stretch this out I don't know why they don't just make this wider so that you can see all the tags or tabs up top so anyways over in general what you'll want to do is uh, most of this stuff will be on already ticked but what you need to do uh, if you want to in your overclocking you can unlock your voltage control and tick the unlock voltage monitoring and that will allow you to uh, monitor your voltage uh, through here if you want to so now I'll, now I'll be monitoring the voltage and uh, you can show that in your on-screen display also if you want to just by ticking that now if I did that that's going to be underneath my RAM and CPU stats and all that so if I wanted it to be grouped with my GPU then say you know like here on the core clock where it says GTX 1080 I can go down to the GPU voltage and override a group name and name that exactly the same GTX 1080 so now when I show my on-screen dis display it would show the core clock and the voltage uh, in line with it right there on the same line so uh, you also have your maximum minimum limits here for things that you want to show and uh, you can also link it to your Logitech keyboard LCD 
display if you wanted to. So uh, here's your hardware monitoring history logging properties. You can click that to log the history to file and then browse to where you want to put it. Stop logging when it exceeds a certain amount and so on and so forth and then click the view button if you want to see those stats and uh, read through them you know like I said it probably be for you know troubleshooting or something like that so okay so once you have all this set up in MSI Afterburner you just click OK and you can actually minimize that if you want to now when you start MSI Afterburner uh, what will happen here is uh, it starts up the RTTS, also or RTSS, sorry, the Riva Tuner Statistics Server, and it looks like this down here in your little uh, group of running programs. So you just click on that, and it pops up like hit this here. Now this is the 7.0.0 beta 19, and uh, if you guys aren't sure if you got the latest version, the beta does support a lot of uh, newer stuff that um, the older ones weren't using. So for your on-screen display, what you're going to want to do is uh, when you hit your toggle, it'll turn it on or off. You know, like in my case, that's Control-Alt-F12. So when I hit Control-Alt-F12, it will turn it on, and then when I hit it again, it will turn it to off. And then, uh, so this would be on. Everything else is how it is at default. The application detection level. There's some games that can be troublesome, but there's really not many. Just leave everything default um, now down here uh, this is newer in the beta you get uh, some nicer text to show instead of the old style like square lettering that was real ugly so now you can do the raster 3d and uh, you just click on it and then like in my case I use uh, impact regular for my font style and then um, now where this says on screen display shadow you can turn that on and that will put uh, a shadow behind the uh, well here let me show you I'll put it to like yellow because a lot of people do yellow I don't personally like it so uh, let me see turn on the shadow it's still kinda hard to see let me turn off my okay there we go alright so that's without shadow that's with shadow there's not too much of a difference so I don't even bother with it for really clear I like to use white and I know some people are thinking yeah but then if you're in a game and it shows white like in the sky or something or there's a lot of bloom it's hard to see well that's why you use this um, on-screen display fill and it puts like a shaded box behind your stats and then um, you can still it's transparent you can see through it but with the white and no shadows on there I mean you guys have seen on my benchmarks if you haven't go check some out like I said if you follow all the steps through here these are all the same settings that I use for my benchmarks on my channel so um, I just use white with on-screen display fill and uh, no shadow and impact regular there and uh, like I said have the show on screen display on which can be toggled with whatever you set in MSI Afterburner for your toggle and uh, don't worry about the show on statistics if you really wanted to just show your frames per second and you're not worried about anything else don't even bother with MSI Afterburner just come over to uh, Riva to tu Tuner Statistics Server and turn this on and when you turn it on it will show your frames per second and you can use this to drag how big you want it to be and you can also click this to change the corners that you want it to be in or you can put in custom numbers and move it to the middle of the screen if you want to you know whatever you guys want to do uh, it's however you want to display it or you know things may work good in one game and not in the other so but if you're wanting to show all your statistics then you need to have this off and have everything set that you want in your on-screen display in afterburner guys so just remember that well I think that about covers all the bases for it so when you do start up a app uh, let's say in this case we'll start out uh, Valley Benchmark 
now mine is already set to on so I'm gonna put that down there minimize it and minimize that and uh, let me put it on uh, non full screen okay cuz I don't want it to be full screen and mess up our video here so I'll put it on like 1920 by 1080 because I'm on the ultra wide so alright so here's running the benchmark and now you can see all my statistics are here uh, now if I'm using the Riva tuner here then uh, you can see how I can adjust the zoom of it right here and uh, that's, that's really small you gotta remember if a lot of people are watching this on uh, you know their cell phones mobile devices that's why I like to try to keep mine either pretty much taking up the whole left side uh, you know it's transparent they can see through it and if they're watching a benchmark they're watching it because they want to see the stats uh, not so much you know the game the, the gameplay itself they want to see the stats on the benchmark so that they can uh, you know decide if they want to buy it or not or see how it's going to run on their rig so uh, so anyways that's your that's your display zoom there that doesn't make a difference unless uh, you had not fired up MSI Afterburner yet so uh, because I already have uh, everything set in MSI Afterburner it's already showing all my statistics over here so it doesn't matter whether I took this or not so anyways guys that's uh, the gist of it and like I said you can hit uh, control alt f 12 on mine that's my setup and that takes it away and control alt 12 brings it up again I'm still happily recording using uh, video or video shadow play or share whatever you guys want to call it nowadays and you know I can sit here and talk about back and forth all day and it doesn't bother with my recording this also has very very minimal impact on Thanks guys.